night, it is Anika from Living For Later. And the other day, someone offended me. Really, really offended me. And the following day, I was just playing the scenario over in my mind. And I was kind of getting worked up at the more I thought about it. And you know when you think about a circumstance, you're like, I should have said this. Or I can't believe, you know, they, they did this or didn't do this. And you know how you kind of drift into that. And that's where I was going. And immediately, Holy Spirit checked me and was like, uh, why are you acting like you don't know what to do? And I kind of like had to pause and change direction because I knew that he was saying, why are you thinking about it instead of praying about it? And I immediately shifted gears and went into a place of praying for the individual, praying about what took place. And I kid you not, within minutes, I went from being up here and being worked up to just coming down, calming down and coming to a place of just being uh, settled in my spirit and just knowing, you know what, God, there's a p bigger picture going on here. So I share this with you because this, it comes back to just this 31 day devotion channel challenge, because I feel like the more you spend time in the presence of God, the more you are able to hear his voice to really know when he's telling you, Hey, wake up, make the right response, make the right choice. You know, you're worrying instead of praying about the circumstance. So the more you spend time with him, the more you are able to hear and understand that it's him speaking to you and you're not just drifting off into your own thoughts and your own um, place of just being angry and worked up. So I want to leave with leave you with this verse. One of my favorite verses, and I say this often about a lot of scriptures, <laughs> because the word of God is just that rich, right? It's a lot of favorites in there. But Philippians 4, 6, 8 says, do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, pr present your request to God. And then it goes on to talk about how the, and the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. And then verse eight goes on to tell you the things that you should think on, right? The things that are true, the things that are noble, the things that are right, the things that are pure, the things that are lovely. These are the things, the things that are praiseworthy, these are the things that we should meditate on. And again, when you make the time to have the personal devotion with God, it makes it a lot easier to live this scripture out. So I also want to share with you a channel that has blessed me. Uh, the name of the channel is Lady Wisdom Speaks, and it is just such a dear sister. Um, she loves to praise the Lord, and she speaks with such wisdom. I was able to join in on one of her live prayers that she had and it was such a blessing and the Lord actually ended up using her to just speak such words of encouragement and this is not somebody that I've met personally we've just you know watched each other videos but I was just so amazed at how certain things that I had prayed that morning to the Lord and that was like really on my heart the Lord then used her to come and share a prophetic word with me um, you know as I joined in and I was like, God, you are just so awesome and so concerned about us. So in any case, I just am going to leave the link above to her channel and you can check out to see when she's going to have uh, the different live prayers and just her videos on a whole, just very refreshing. And I just love her heart uh, to praise and worship the Lord. So that's Lady Wisdom Speaks. And I've also mentioned in my other video, um, the channel for help a mama remote and she's going through and memorizing the entire book of ephesians and she does post some bible study with that book so check both of these channels out they have definitely been a blessing to me all right you be blessed